We begin today with the news that Britain's intelligence agency, the GCHQ, has been collecting images from webcam conversations conducted by Yahoo users. This is all according to documents released by former government contractor Edward Snowden and obtained by The Guardian. The report reveals the details of a surveillance program called Optic Nerve, in which the GCHQ was collecting and storing these images in large quantities, all with the support of the U.S. National Security Agency. In a statement to RT, Yahoo said, we were not aware or nor would we condone this reported activity. This report, if true, represents a whole new level of violation of our users' privacy that is completely unacceptable. To talk a little bit more about how this program was carried out earlier, I spoke with RT's Sarah Firth in London. I first asked her how the GCHQ was collecting this information. Well, this was done via webcam and British intelligence agency, GCHQ, uh, aided by the NSA, uh, had the program codenamed Optic Nerve, and they were essentially collecting still images uh, from millions of Yahoo user accounts, 1.8 million uh, accounts, and saving them to agency databases. And how was this information supposed to be used? Well, the system, it appears, was used for uh, experiments in automated facial recognition. Uh, now, it was used to monitor not just GCHQ's existing targets, uh, but also to discover new targets of interest. Uh, and so the searches could be used to try to find terror suspects or, or criminals, uh, but it was also making use of uh, multiple anonymous user IDs, so scooping up a huge bulk data uh, from what could potentially be completely innocent users. Uh, and did the GCHQ distinguish between which of those users were suspected of wrongdoing and, and those who weren't suspected of wrongdoing? It appears not, and I think that's really what's causing such outrage here, is that uh, it seems that GCHQ were able to access uh, many images completely indiscriminately. Uh, the information was collected in bulk, uh, largely anonymous user IDs, as we said, detailed in those documents. And that also means that they'd have been unable to filter out uh, information uh, between uh, US or, or UK citizens. So uh, no distinctions made there, as we said, indiscriminately uh, collected this information and of course that's what uh, has caused so much concern and so much anger from a lot of users already. Absolutely and, and of course also we're learning that scores of sexually explicit material in particular was inadvertently collected. After realizing this did the GCHQ make any attempts whatsoever to prevent the collection or storage of, of that kind of content? Well, GCHQ is certainly getting a little bit more than I think they were bargaining for there. Uh, rather coyly describing their discovery, uh, as they say, a surprising number of people use webcam uh, conversations to show intimate parts of their body. And apparently the document's saying 3 to 11 percent of the images contained undesirable nudity, or as one social media user commenting on the revelation, so eloquently put it, CCTV on the streets, GCHQ in your sheets but uh, of course not a laughing matter at all uh, because despite this it seems that GCHQ uh, didn't make any attempt to uh, prevent the collection or the storage of these explicit images they did eventually it seems come to a compromise uh, by excluding images from this facial recognition program that didn't actually include faces. So uh, eventually they did manage to filter out some of the images coming through, but it seems not much effort uh, was made in the collection or indeed storage of those very personal images. Now, considering that both the U.S. and the U.K. are part of the five eyes and therefore they share intelligence, um, is it safe to assume the NSA has had access to the Yahoo webcam storage and all of these images? It's uh, pretty unclear at this point exactly how much access uh, NSA had to those Yahoo webcam Im images. Of course, that is a question a lot of people, uh, including you'd imagine Yahoo themselves, are going to be uh, really pushing uh, to get the answer on that. Uh, it does seem that policy documents were available uh, to NSA analysts throughout routine information sharing. And, and as we said, this optic nerve uh, codenamed program, uh, a GCHQ operation, but they were aided certainly by 
the NSA. So that is going to be something uh, that is going to be being looked at very closely right now. Uh, and Sarah, this particular program, Optic Nerve, interestingly only focused on Yahoo users. Uh, is there any reason why the agency used Yahoo instead of, say, Google? Well, from the documents that have been released so far, it seems that Yahoo users were certainly the most uh, wide scale uh, in the targeting. But some of the documents do also appear to detail interest in the potential capabilities of the Xbox uh, 360's Kinect camera, uh, saying that generated uh, normal webcam traffic. Uh, so again, it, it seems possible that they, they were in this program looking to perhaps expand it uh, to other areas as well as uh, that wide scale Yahoo webcam imaging. All right, certainly a lot of outrage over this. RT correspondent Sarah Firth, thanks for your reporting.